Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I'm Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. We're going to head back out to the state of Illinois. It is time for our weekly check-in on... That's right. For those of you who are new to this, every week we go to the Illinois State Police Department's website to figure out, hey, just how well is Illinois coming along with their gun registration requirement? And so far, the news has not been particularly good if you favor civilian disarmament. Now, if you love personal freedoms and inalienable rights, you would love the numbers that we've seen so far. So today, let's geek out on the numbers, let's get educated, let's break it all down and let's talk about, is anyone in Illinois actually registering their guns? Okay, the short answer to that question is no, they are not. Welcome to Washington Gun Law. This is our weekly update on how is the state of Illinois doing with their gun registration. Now, in a very quick synopsis of why we're doing this, way back in January of this year, Governor J.B. Pritzker and the Illinois State Legislature turned an innocuous piece of insurance legislation into an outright ban on semi-automatic rifles and managed to get that enacted into law in less than 72 hours, an amazing legislative feat. No member of the public was ever allowed to comment. In fact, there was really no committee hearings on it or anything. It was a backroom deal, bada boom, bada bang, and we had ourselves an assault weapon ban. Now, some of the firearms that people in Illinois own were grandfathered in, and you can keep them so long as you register them with your state government no later than the end of this calendar year. That's right. In order to keep a firearm, you have to register it with the state government. Now, we've done enough videos about all the unconstitutional deficiencies with that, but on October 1st, the state of Illinois opened up their firearm registration, and the Illinois State Police Department has been keeping us apprised of their data. We go back once a week to figure out how is the state of Illinois doing, and so far the data has been really, really promising if you want everyone in the state of Illinois to throw a big middle finger at this law, because that is exactly what is happening. Now, as of November 19th, 2023, there still are 2,415,481 FOID card holders. Presumably, each of them own at least one firearm. However, we cannot presume that every one of those individuals owns a firearm or accessory that has to be registered. But if any of these individuals own a semi-automatic rifle or any magazine which exceeds 10 rounds or any 50 caliber ammunition, that would require a registration. Of the 2,415,481 FOID card holders, as of this date, 3,439 individuals have actually disclosed something to the Illinois State Police. So as of this moment, we have a little over 3,400 individuals that have actually registered something. Now, how does that break down? Of those that have registered so far, there is a total of 10,064 items disclosed, which breaks down as 6,592 firearms, 3,422 accessories, and 61 ammunition registrations. Now, if we got 2.4 million FOID card holders and we now have a little over 3,400 individuals that have actually registered an item with the Illinois State Police, the current compliance rate with this law is 0.14%. Let me say that again. I didn't say 14%. I didn't say 1.4%. I said 0.14%. And if you go back and you track the first two videos we did, we were at a 0.1%, we were then at a 0.12%, and now we're at a 0.14% compliance rate. Now, if we know we have 3,439 individuals that have actually registered an item, and there's been a total of 10,064 items already registered, it means that we are averaging 2.93 items per registrant. If that trend remains the same, that is that everybody who has a FOID card is gonna average about 2.93 items per registration, what we're looking at is that the total number of items that should be registered in the state of Illinois is 7,077,359. However, with only knowing that 10,064 have been disclosed, the current percentage rate calculated there is 0.14% as well. 
So the bottom line is, is that every week that we've gone back and checked this data so far, we are seeing about a 0.02 increase in compliance. Now, I know a lot of people in Illinois are probably waiting until the last minute for several reasons, one of which is to see what's going to go on with some of the ongoing court cases, in particular, Calkins v. Pritzker, which is now sitting before the United States Supreme Court for an emergency review. We already did this video on it here, and we're very carefully watching that. Okay, we'll go ahead and link up the data down below so you can geek out on it for yourself. We'll also go ahead, because we are a full service operation here, we'll link up the registration link. So if you decide you want to comply, you will be able to do so. And then we promise we will very, very carefully watch the case of Calkins v. Pritzker. That may be Illinois' last saving grace. If you have any other questions about this, or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights. You guys should know how to get a hold of Washington gun law by now. If you don't, that's okay. That information is right down there in the description box. Now, in the meantime, let's all remember that part of being a lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe.